because on Friday, the Winnie Mandela movie released at Sir Kinniko Cinemas across South Africa. And it tells the story of Winnie Mandela's remarkable journey amidst the turbulent decades of her husband, Nelson Mandela's imprisonment. Now, starring Academy Award winner Jennifer Hudson and Academy Award nominee Terence Howard, it's an epic, often heart-wrenching voyage towards understanding one of the world's most remarkable and enigmatic women. Take a look. Africans want political independence. South Africa belongs to all those who live in it. Who is he? Nelson Mandela. I would follow him anywhere. I like you, baby. You are not afraid. Of what? Of me. We were all created free. Viva ANC! Viva! The blacks have the moral high ground at the moment. We have to get to their leaders before they gather momentum. No, you're coming with us. Get your hand up. off my wife. This court finds all of the accused guilty of conspiring to overthrow the state. The sentence is life imprisonment. Mandela's dream of a free society will be kept alive. Daddy will be so proud. Where's the father? Away. Oh, Why for this? We must break up. They have made me strong. We are winning this. We are winning. Keep fighting! Keep fighting! Keep fighting. <laughs> they think because they have put my husband on an island that he will be forgotten. The harder they try to silence him, the louder I become. Amanda! Oh, wow, what an amazing movie. We all should see it this Monday. Well, before we even see it, Andre is in studio with us. Andre Peter Say is the co-writer and the producer of Winnie Mandela. Andre, welcome to the show. Thank you, Lana. I'm totally amazed. I mean, you're the Hollywood film veteran that we all know. You're also the executive vice president of the MGM. I'm talking about Columbia Theatres in the USA. What inspired you to tell a South African story, to tell Winnie Mandela's story? Well, first of all, I am South African, and secondly, Winnie's story is a remarkable story. Mm. And we've all recently seen Long Walk to Freedom, the great, great story about the great man. This is the story of Winnie, uh, the lady who took so much of a, and gave so much of her life for a man that she loved, for her people that she loved. And when I read the book 10 years ago, Winnie Mandela, A Life by Anna Marie Bestrop, I was bowled over by the, just the sheer uh, 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 character, power, and her commitment that uh, took her through uh, deep, deep rivers and valleys. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's a story that every South African should see, especially women. It's a woman empowerment story. And it's a story that needs to be told, and here you are telling it. I mean, uh, the movie w has been described as just perfect. So has the casting. Tell me about Jennifer Hudson and also about Terence Howard and how they prepared for their roles. Well, Jennifer was a natural. She, uh, following her Oscar win on uh, Dreamgirls, she was Dar Daryl's first choice. Mm. We didn't even look further. And uh, Terence was such a committed Nelson. He read everything he could about Nelson. And when you see the film, you'll know that both of them give performances that should have earned them Oscar nominations. Oh, wow. Well, you know, I look at the fact that you adapted the screenplay from the book, Winnie Mandela. Does the story form in the same way? I mean, do, did you keep it in sequence? We did. It is from her early days all the way through the period where she meets Nelson, where they fall in love, and very soon thereafter, he's in prison for life. And she took up the baton. She lit that flame. The movie was directed by SA's top director, Daryl Roth. I mean, we know him as the guy who also directed uh, Cry the Beloved Country. Filming a big budget movie like this, I mean, it's something that we do touch on when we talk about movies. A big budget movie here in South Africa with an acclaimed director. What is it like for you as co-writer and producer? It was a great challenge. We wanted to tell this remarkable story of Winnie Mandela 
a character that much has been written about her, mostly bad. Mm. And we believe that there was a story to be told, the truth. And that's why we bill it as the remarkable story, the untold story. We're extremely honored having you on the show this morning. So thank you so much for coming through. Co-writer and also producer, Andre Peterson, thank you so much. And we should all see it. You heard it. It's a story of empowerment. It's a story about one of our South Africans that had to be told, and you had the honor of doing so. So thank you for doing a remarkable job about it. Winnie Mandela, we should all have a chance of seeing it. Keeping in mind that over the weekend it was International Women's Day, it's definitely something to look forward to. Andre, thank you so much. Thank you, Lana. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. You're watching Expresso.